Three-year-old Felicia Johnson disappeared 10 days ago, and her father says a reward may be increased in order to bring in more tips. Jason Miles is live from Bear Creek Park, where Johnson's family says her phone was found. Jason? That's right, Lynn. A PI hired by the family claims he found Johnson's phone covered in blood here at Bear Creek Park. Further reason the family believes foul play is involved. Flyers like this are posted at Bear Creek Park, where 24-year-old Felicia Johnson's family says her bloody phone was found, while her father, Kevin, continues to keep her name in the news. I'm her father, I'm the face of her, and I'm her representative in her fight to come home. He came to Houston from his home in San Diego after getting word of Felicia's disappearance. And nobody's going to fight this fight more than me, harder than me, and longer than me. He says his oldest of three children was last seen April 15th at Cover Girls Gentlemen's Club on West Little York, where she applied for a job days after coming to town from California to celebrate a birthday and earn some extra cash. She fell into something that she couldn't get out of. Community activist Quan LX, who helped organize a vigil last night, said John Johnson got into an unknown man's car when an Uber ran late and that the club has not provided surveillance video or any other information. Meanwhile, Texas EquiSearch spent hours in the area where Johnson's phone was found and tells me it will continue to follow law enforcement's lead on when and where to search. At this point, HPD considers it a missing persons investigation. I feel like they are doing their job. Johnson believes a crime stopper's reward on top of other money being raised may prompt a member of the public to do the right thing as well. Reach out. Go in your heart. Just if you know something, even if you want the $5,000, just say something. Call in with something. Give us something. about the murder and disappearance of 24-year-old Felicia Johnson. She vanished in April. Fox 26's Gabby Hart is live tonight with news that police say the suspect's Google search history is being used as evidence against him. Gabby. Yeah, Tom, charging documents reveal that after Felicia Johnson's disappearance, the suspect Googled things like how to be a serial killer and how to get away with murder. Police also say that they found photos in his cell phone that showed the body of a dismembered woman along with other dead bodies. New documents are providing insight into the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of 24-year-old Felicia Johnson. The community spent weeks calling for her safe return. Sister, if you can see us, you have not been forgotten. Johnson came to Houston from San Diego and attempted to get a job at a local strip club. We're now learning that she allegedly met 28-year-old Chukwebuka Wobodo on Snapchat. The pair agreed to meet for $500. The suspect sent an Uber for Johnson to the Intercontinental Hotel around 3 a.m. April 16th. That Uber took her to the suspect's old address on Windchase Boulevard. Police say the suspect picked her up from that location and took her to his new residence on Richmond Avenue. Johnson hasn't been seen since. Her bloody phone and her purse found abandoned near Bear Creek Park. On Thursday, police saying they found evidence that leads them to believe she was murdered. That evidence revealed in these documents. On April 17th, the suspect purchased a saw, towels, large trash bags, and a trail flashlight. When officers searched his vehicle, they found a gun, latex gloves, a large kitchen knife, and a shovel. They also found Felicia's blood in his trunk and back seat, as well as blood stains throughout his apartment. After Felicia's disappearance, the suspect allegedly Googled things like what does bleach do to blood, how to be a serial killer, and how does one plan a murder without getting caught. On April 30th, nearly two weeks after Felicia's disappearance, the suspect's Google search revealed he was still looking for Houston escorts. The investigating detective saying, quote, I believe Felicia is deceased and was likely dismembered. On May 13th, nearly one month after Johnson's disappearance, police arrested Wobodo at which point they went through his phone, where they say they found a photo of a dismembered woman and three other photos of dead bodies. We also learned that the suspect was previously investigated for attempted sexual assault. The victim chose not to press charges. 
Now, right now, it's not clear why the suspect was arrested and then released from custody. We do know, though, uh, that tonight that suspect is on the run, wanted on charges of murder and tampering with evidence. Felicia Johnson's body still hasn't been recovered. We plan to stay on top of this. And, of course, as soon as we learn more, so will you. For now, I'm reporting live.